Martin Hyde. Come down and join me. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, I remain Martin Hyde. I, 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 I'm not here to make a speech. I, I, a general observation that, you know, EDCs generally, they're not terribly effective. You know, there's very limited empirical evidence that putting a small banking center on 301 will help the disadvantaged, the disenfranchised, those that don't have bank accounts. It certainly would help the banks, um, but I'm not sure we're up for uh, that kind of corporate welfare. Um, there were other, ish, other, other stuff on here. I'm not quite sure why they were trying to rush it through. You know, um, $60,000 was one thing mooted to, uh, to spend on a directory of businesses. Well, last time I looked, you only had to Google stuff. It really isn't necessary. 60 grand seems a hell of a lot of money to, uh, to come up with another list of businesses in Sarasota. Um, 400 grand to light the bridge. I, I'm sorry, Commissioner Brody. I like colored lights and all that sort of stuff, but I, I'm not buying that as economic development. I just cannot see the, uh, the, the math on that. 75 grand for another report, you know, about Payne Park and tennis. I think we absolutely should look into what we can do with Payne Park. It's interesting, you know, we're getting less than two, the county's getting less than 200 grand a year out of Payne Park right now. An equivalent, which is, say, Bath and Racket, is getting around about nine times that much from not many more courts. So there's clearly some latitude and things that can be done. I don't think you necessarily need to spend 75 grand to find that out. You can come and have coffee with me, I'll explain it. The, um, this business about training, though, is terribly important, and, uh, and Kevin's absolutely right. We're not, though, just talking about training North Sarasota, right? I mean, we're talking about training all of Sarasota. We do tend to dwell on North Sarasota, and that's fine and dandy, but it's all of Sarasota. As an employer, I can tell you straightforward and simply, one of the biggest challenges I have is that people come to me and they're not ready for work. You know, they might have a degree in art history, they might know something about something that's not relevant, but workforce training, actual practical training, and we do have a couple of buildings that we could look at. You know, that gee whiz thing has been empty now for what, two years, three years? I suspect it's gonna be empty for another 10 years. Um, I'm not sure that we couldn't do something with that. Either we can use it as some form of training facility, or maybe we should put the whole nut into turning it into a museum of Sarasota. There's not been enough conversation with the community here. There's way too much pork, um, and it's time to move away from pet projects and look at what we can get, because you can get something decent for two million bucks. You won't get an awful lot for 20 grand here and 20 grand there, in my opinion. Jay Patel.